It's it's set up the way it it always was set up since I guess the fir the first very show. first show. Like somehow I ended up doing the drums, mm -hmm. so I have the drum machines. Okay. And Jason has a pile of synths and does like melody if there is any, but chords, noises, okay. and then Dietrich was used to be basically the mixer in the 303. Mm -hmm. So he'd sort of control the whole show, run the 303. Now he brings a couple synths, the Waldorf Pulse and the Evolver that's controlled by the Doppler sequencer. So he's doing some synths too, but it was always like, I'm the drums, Jason's the noises, and Dietrich is the sort of controller it the of it. Time, so. it uh, yeah, I guess we tried that. We, we, in the middle, somewhere we tried switching it up a little bit, like uh, just kind of tag team action. Like mm -hmm. We do a little tag team. And then you figured out what works. I've been on the drums. From, oh, okay. from my drum contribution, I'll just turn up the 606, which I use for triggers. Mm -hmm. But there's usually something fun there. So you program the drums for yeah. the most part? Are you a drummer? Do you have a background in drumming? I was a drummer when I started music, sold my drum kit, Okay. bought a Juno 106. Nice. Why? Because 22 you, years ago. Because you had to live in apartments for a while or something? No, I lived with my parents. I mean, oh, I was okay. 15. But, okay. yeah, I wanted to do... I wanted to be a one-man band. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I couldn't, I mean, just, I couldn't I do that I with drums. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Totally. Well, I tell you, the 106, I told my parents, because my parents bought it for me. I was right. 15. Um, I said, Mom, Dad, this is the last synth I'll ever need. It's a synthesizer. You can synthesize anything. <laughs> you know, I, th I thought it was the last piece of equipment I'd ever need in my entire <laughs> life. Nice. <laughs> What was it? What did you say? Was it Juno 106 and a, a six or no? Juno 106 is my first. What set. was the drum machine? A uh, TR. Did you? Drum did you uh, my no, first drum machine was a 505. Oh, okay. 505. Like a year later or something like that. But very cool. Those tapes, man. So do you have tapes of all that stuff? Yeah, actually, when I was 15 in high school, my best friend also bought a synth at this, around the same time. Okay. And he'd come over every weekend, and we start making songs mm -hmm. and like maybe a few months later or whatever i bought a drum machine a digital delay you know the gear started building up piling up yeah and i have every tape ever made from october 22nd 1985 <laughs> every song ever recorded with a date next to it on the cassette wow. we'd have like a boom box sitting in the room mm -hmm. on record and then oh, our synths playing synths playing through guitar amps because that's what we had at the time. Yeah. Everything is recorded, and I still have it. Everything. It's wild. It's pretty cool. I, listen, yeah. I mean, it's obviously not very good back then, <laughs> but you can listen to the progression from, like, over the years, and, you know, starts to get... Well, yeah, that's, it's, it's great to have that reference point, you know, to... Yeah, I mean, you know, I like listening to the old stuff, because, mm -hmm. I mean, I wouldn't play it for anybody, but it's memories for me. Oh. And then I met Jason, like... Four or five years later, and he he was running a label, and you know, sort of up at the next level, and you know, stuff started getting a little more serious. Then, 